Silta on vähän heikossa kunnossa. Tällä hetkellä pohdimme, kuinka onnistumme ylittämään sillan maastoantoa. Se voi olla hieman vaikeaa. A small Malagasy organization, Wakanala, has started a reforestation project with the support of Finnish Association for Nature Conservation. The head of the organization, Andre Rakotomamonchi, showed the team the way to the project village in the dry southeast of the island. He tells about the loss of forest around the village where he grew up. Now there's only deserted land and small remnants of forest left. Our team observes the state of forests with the locals. An important part of the project is mapping the forest areas in order to be able to monitor the causes for deforestation and detect where and how it is occurring. <laughs> Preservation of forests is vital for all the animals and plants that live there, but also for the people. Forests act as water storages during the dry season, and during the rainy season they prevent floods. The biodiversity of Madagascar is staggering. 80% of all animal and plant species are found nowhere else in the world. These include close to a hundred species of lemurs. Our team comes across one of the most exciting species that still lives in the forests of Madagascar, the Indri. Indri is the biggest lemur left. When Indri sings, everyone will hear it. Only 20% of Madagascar is currently covered with forest. Illegal logging, slash and burn agriculture and forest fires are the main causes for deforestation and forest degradation. Forest loss will expose the land to severe erosion, which is already seen in most parts of the island. One way of preventing and fighting against water shortage, erosion and the loss of biodiversity is active reforestation. Local forest experts show our team the village tree nurseries. They are growing several local tree species as well as fruit trees. The seeds were gathered from the remaining forest area. If reforestation is initiated and implemented by the local people, it has a good possibility to succeed. Collecting the seeds, taking care of tree nurseries and planting the seedlings takes a lot of time and effort, so reforestation will only be sustainable if the local people are motivated and concerned about the environment. because the pass on the tree is slowly grown. But now it's just a replantation. After successful reforestation, the landscape will eventually look like a true forest again. <laughs> <laughs>